Good morning, my children. How are you? Morning, Jesus. We love you. Yes, we love you, Jesus. I know this is blowing your minds right now. This is a lot for anyone to handle. <clears throat> but you are doing it so well. I'm so proud of you. Everything I'm saying, you're delivering my messages. It's exactly how I planned it out. They do not understand this yet, but they will. It's actually in my word. Good job, McKenna, for finding it and listening to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. People don't know who I really am. People think I'm just a God of law and orders. <clears throat> but I'm so much more than that. I am a God of numbers. I am a God of love. I created everything. Everything I create, everything I say means something. But they're too busy mocking and scoffing. They're not actually listening to my words and what I'm saying. Oh, how sad they're going to be. I can feel their sorrows now. It's going to be catastrophic, their sorrows. They have no idea what is coming. This storm that is brewing on the Atlantic. This is going to be the most massive storm anyone has ever seen. It's going to wipe out homes. It's going to flood the streets and cities. Do you remember cyclones? I told you about that in a previous prophecy. The East Coast are going to see cyclones everywhere. They're not used to cyclones on the East Coast. But I'm telling you, it's coming. <clears throat> it's going to wake up a lot of people. But my hope is for those people to get on their knees, pray and worship me. Pray and ask me to come into their lives and save them. Pray like they've never prayed to a God before. I am their God. I am Yeshua HaMashiach. I am the Almighty. I am their Savior. I come in the flesh. I bled and died on the cross. I rose on the third day. <clears throat> Do they not understand what I'm doing? Everything I'm doing has a pattern. I ask my obedient servants to do exactly as I wish, to speak exactly what I wish for them to speak. They do not falter. They do not disobey me. They follow every command that I give them because they love me and I love them. That is what a true relationship is with your father. Are you just picking up the book and reading it and trying to memorize scriptures, but you don't go throughout the day and talk to me? You don't ask me questions. Do you ask me for discernment or what that scripture means? <laughs> or do you just go on Sunday, listen to a sermon, read a couple verses, and then forget about me and go out the rest of your day? Do you think I'm truly in your heart? Do you think I know you? Do you think you know me? <clears throat> Children, I am trying to wake you up. I don't like to pour fear 
out on my kids because perfect love casts out all fear and I am perfect love. But your hearts are hardened and they are wicked and they are black as coal. And you do not listen to a single word that I speak or that I say. I am using my prophets, my anointed ones to speak my words and you call them adulterous and you call them wicked and you call them a witch and you say they practice divination and sorcery. Well, let me tell you what, I have the sword coming for those who are calling my anointed ones those names because the people calling my anointed ones those names do not have my spirit and I do not know them. But I am a loving and a gentle God and I want to know them. I want to know you. Hear me now, children. If you are the one attacking your neighbor, if you are the one making public videos on a public forum, attacking your neighbor when you do not know their hearts and you do not know the assignment that I have given them, the assignment to align the planets, the assignment to be joined together as one married in the flesh and in the spirit. Does a God of law and orders need man's contracts? I created contracts. I created the earth, the heavens. I created everything you see, including the Maserat. And yes, the enemy has twisted my names, Babylonian names. But it doesn't mean it wasn't my creation. It doesn't mean I didn't ask you to look at the sun, the moon, and the stars. I didn't ask you to worship the sun, the moon, and the stars. And my people are not worshiping the sun, the moon, and the stars. They worship me. Every morning they get on their knees. They pray to me. Throughout the day they speak to me. Throughout the day they worship me. They read my words. They love me. Are you loving me? Are you loving your neighbor? When you walk in darkness, you have no light in you. If you're practicing darkness, you are not practicing the truth. You can scoff at my anointed one, Mandy. You can scoff at my anointed one, Kathy. You can scoff at my anointed one, McKenna. You can scoff at my anointed one, Jeff. And you can scoff at my Adam and my anointed one, Guillermo. But just remember, when you are attacking them, you are attacking me. Because I put the words in their mouth. Everything they have done, I have asked them to do from the very beginning, from the phone calls, from the aligning the planets with the voice frequencies, I have asked them to do it all. It is part of my creation, the new Jerusalem, the stardust equation. Adam and Eve started the new world. The serpent deceived Eve. The serpent tried to deceive Mandy, but she didn't allow it. If you wanna know what I'm speaking of, you can get on your knees, you can pray to me, and you can ask me personally, and I will tell you what it means. If you get rid of your pride and you humble yourself and you bow down at my feet, and yes, I do say worship me and bow down at my feet, it is in my word. You may not like things my anointed ones say. You might not like the things my anointed ones speak, but everything they speak is from me. I have poured my spirit out in them. I have given Mandy 
access to all the prophets in the entire book, which is why she feels every single emotion, which is why she feels my anger, my sadness, my happiness, which is why she feels it all. And she gets all of my words and my messages spoken clearly and doesn't miss a drop in anything she says because she has no control of what she is speaking. I am speaking through her, which is why I give her scriptures for confirmation. And I'm telling you, children, destruction is coming. I am telling you, yesterday was the turning point where I will not delay my warnings. I will not do small increments any longer. You are going to see the wrath of God. You are going to see me like a lion. I am no longer a lamb. And if you come after my anointed ones, and attack them, you will be sorry. And if you think she's faking, try me. Keep speaking. I don't want any of this for you, my children. You are saved when you believe in me and confess that I am Lord. You are saved through faith, walking in my grace. You are obedient to me. You are faithful to me. You follow my commands and you do what I ask you to do because you love me. You do not try to make it to heaven by doing works. The works is faith and obedience to me. It is following my commands. It is loving me. It is worshiping me. Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. I took away your sins already. It is finished on the cross through my blood by me. Yet you judge. You come and you condemn your neighbor. And you do not know her heart. You do not know everything she has been through from the very beginning since she was a child. You do not know that I have been with her, that we used to play games when she was little and hide and seek. And she believed in me when she was six before she even knew me. You do not know when she was doing music in New York City and the devil was out to devour her. You do not know that I was with her and she defended me when Satan tried to tell her there was no God, but she defended me and she didn't even know me. You do not know that she's canceled her life for me. She laid down her music for me. She walked away from the job for me. You may not believe in her. You may not believe in any of my anointed ones. But just know that I'm speaking through them because I am trying to wake you up. A loving God does not just bring destruction and wrath. He warns and he warns and he warns. And yes, she is the Revelation 12 woman. She is the one carrying the child in the spirit. This is why I called out the name Asher, because Asher is part of it. And you may scoff at that, and you may mock that, and you may not understand, but it all has to do with the stardust and the equations that I've given her to spark the stars, to make the new Jerusalem. 
Her Adam was handpicked by me. I ordained them together from the beginning of time. Believe me, children, I know everyone's heart. I know everyone's thoughts. Not everything meets the eye. You think you know someone because they speak a few words. You do not know their hearts. You do not know what they do behind closed doors. You know nothing. So you cannot rightfully judge anyone. I am the only judge. Yes, I ask you to test the spirit. But her spirit is saying that I come in the flesh and I bled and I died on the cross and I rose on the third day. A spirit of antichrist will not say those words. I use people for different things. I speak through people. Even if they're worshiping the enemy, I still come in and speak to people. Sometimes I use evil for good. I let the devil run this world until I come back and I change it and make it a new world. So keep scoffing, keep mocking. Look in my word and see what I made the prophets do. Look in my word and see that I'm not this God that you portray me to be. The devil has made you think that is the kind of God that I am. Would you want a relationship with that God? No, no one would. Why do you think he has tainted everything? Why do you think he mocks my creation and calls it divination? Why do you think there's astronomy and astrology? Why do you think there is Bible concordances and gematria and angel numbers? Look at the difference, children. Where is the light? Where is the darkness? Where is the line? It is circumcision. It is uncircumcision. Your faith is what pleases me. When you walk by faith, you please me. What did I tell Peter when he tried to walk on water and he started to sink? Oh, you little faith. Right now, the ones condemning and judging, oh, a little faith. You are going to see the truth here soon. I'm waking you up, children. There are no more warnings. This is your final hour. <clears throat> I told you to look at the moon. You're going to see a halo around it. You're going to see meteorites fall. You're going to see fire in the sky. You're going to see my light show. I told you to watch my movie. Well, guess what? You are watching it. I told you it would be a screamer. Most of you do not even know the God that I am. You think you can depict the God that I am by reading my book? Do you think I'm going to let you suffer the great tribulation when I've already handpicked you as my bride and my chosen ones and my elect? What a loving father 
and a loving God spread that kind of good news? Do you think it's good news to have your head chopped off unless you deny your faith through me? For me? That's not good news. The good news is it's a free gift. The good news is you can't boast about your salvation because I've freely given it to you. But you're out there boasting. You're out there praising yourself, looking at your works. Oh, I did so good today. I went to church and I read 20 pages. There are no works to salvation. When you give me your heart and confess I am Lord and you repent from your sins, which is a change of mind from not believing in me. And you come to truly believe in me and lay down this world and your idols to worship me and pick up my cross and follow me. That is how you are saved. That is how you are born again. The baptism of water is me. And yes, I want you to announce it publicly that I am your Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach is your Lord. Yes, so go get baptized. But your baptism of the Holy Spirit is through me and believing in me because I paid for your sins already on the cross. Don't you get it? I change your heart. When you walk in love and walk in faith and you walk in obedience, that is practicing the truth. Most of my words will be a deaf ear to most of you. Unfortunately, that is how hard your hearts are. But because I'm a loving God, I don't quit on my children. I will warn you until my spirit is no longer here when I take my chosen ones. And you may not understand every revelation I am giving my anointed ones right now. You may not understand soulmates in heaven and how I ordain partners together, but you will. You will start to see the love I have for my children and how I want everyone to be happy and how I want everyone to make love and worship me in the flesh, in the spirit, while being ordained by me through the marriage I give you through your heart, worshiping me through the flesh and my spirit for speaking it. Did I not speak the world into existence? Do you think I can't speak marriage into existence? The power of the tongue can either harm you or bring life. How are you? spilling out your words are you speaking death or are you speaking life my warnings are no longer in small increments war is coming famine is coming hurricanes mudslides sinkholes earthquakes Babylon will be destroyed. You may not understand the 12 hour repentance thing. Again, it has to do with the Maserath. <laughs> 
again, it has to do with my true calendar. Don't you think I allowed every single date my anointed one spoke? Don't you think I knew she was going to speak that and it would come about like this? Don't you know I plan everything? I know the end and the beginning. And I'm the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. And yes, I told her to tell you to read right from left, from bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom because mysteries are being revealed to you right now. I told you I would seal it up until the end. My children, this is the end. So you can scoff, you can mock just like the Pharisees did. And yes, I'm calling you Pharisees. Yes, I'm using that modern day Pharisee word because I speak to my children how they understand me. And I speak to everyone differently. And if you have my spirit, you know it's true because you know what I have revealed to you already. You know what I have been speaking. And yes, Mandy is going to post this Zoom. I have asked her to post this right now live as I'm speaking through her. I told you this is going to be supernatural times. Wake up, children, because your lion is coming. I am your Yeshua, and I have spoken. Somebody please take down these scriptures. Got it. First John 3, 7. First Corinthians 3, 5. James 2, 11. Philippians 2, 8. Psalm 18, 4. Joshua 4, 9. Hebrews 1, 5. Psalm 10, 3. Habakkuk 2, 4. Genesis 8, 6. Exodus 10, 3. John 5, 9. Revelation 17, 4. <clears throat> First Thessalonians one six Romans five eight Galatians two twelve John two four Revelation nineteen Seven. Job one eight. Genesis sixteen five.
Ruth 4, 8 through 11. Esther 2, 9. <clears throat> Matthew 25, 6. Matthew 24, 10. First John 2, 3. Ephesians 3, 8 through 11. Joshua 1, 11. Ezekiel 18, 4. Isaiah 60. Psalm 43, 5. Second Corinthians 2, 9. 2 John 1, 5. Philippians 1, 8. 1 Timothy 2, 9. 1 John 2, 10. Amos 1, 3. Zephaniah 2, 7. Nehemiah 2, 5. Judges 1, 8. Colossians 1, 3. Hebrews 3, 9. Romans 8, 7. Galatians 4, 11. I could keep going, children. I could keep going. Second Thessalonians two five. Philippians 1, 3. John 3, 11 through 17. Isaiah 14, 9. Numbers 12, 6. Exodus ten three Job thirty eight seven Matthew twenty three nine Acts 
two, five. Micah, one, six. Malachi, one, four through nine. First Corinthians, one, 11. First Corinthians, 15, three. Romans, seven, two. Joshua, three, six. Revelation, five, nine. Revelation, nineteen, six. Zephaniah, two, four. For Kings, one, six. For Samuel, three, eighteen. And he said, or three, one through eight. I'm not sure what he means by that, but sometimes he gives me numbers that I have to figure out. And sometimes he wants me to read it the opposite way. Galatians 5, 2. Genesis fourteen three Nehemiah one two Obadiah one seven Psalm two Okay, I'm done, my child, I'm done. Um. Wow. All right. Oh, hey, Jerry, you're awake. <laughs> Hi.